Right, welcome back to Lockdown Workshop. <coughs> I don't know which bit this is going to end up on, but um, what I've done is I've just clocked this off just to have a quick look at this. I um, wanted to check. Um, they're fairly easy to strip down, you can take all this off. So I was going to have a quick look in there and just see how bad it was. It looks fairly minging in there, but I have done some tests and it doesn't feel like the drag is in there, it feels like the drag is in the cable, but it is dragging a little bit in here, so I'm I'm tempted to pop this out. Normally I'd do this on the bench, but it's got a hydraulic on it, so I really don't want to take the um, the hydraulics out because it means I've got to bleed everything and I'm unfamiliar with this setup on here so I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it a little bit um, so we're just gonna get these covers off now from what I've seen is this first screw which I'm not gonna drop is I uh, da, 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 da. it's a bit smaller than the other ones in theory could be wrong, or it could be that one up there that's smaller. Well, those two are the same. This is actually off, it's completely disconnected. Now what I do know is if I take this cover out it's not all going to explode. Just look fairly minging. Right, all three are the same. Right, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see what you can see. Right. So it does look pretty minging in there. Eventually it drops back down again. I wonder whether I ought to give that a blast out with something. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look to be that bad. So apparently this bit you can just you can just pull that out. Um, once you've got this pin at the back up there out of the way, so there's a screw that holds the pin in. You should have a little pick down the back of there and you push this axle out and then all this lot comes out. That's a lot easier than Shimano's. Shimano's you've got to have a special tool and you've got to go proper digging. So you release and then I mean it could be it could be gunked up. I mean I can't see it. Certainly a lot of smeg in there. Dead flies. I think we'll give that a blast out. Get my airline over. Um, find out where I put my airline thing. Get the stupid bit of hose up on it the other day off. There we go.
Right. Let's put this back in vision again. Right. Um, it is pretty minging. Um, I've got the things to shut off the air compressor. But what I'll do is I'll just give it a rinse out with um, some car cleaner. See if that mate, see if we can, let's see if that'll help. Because it, it's, it doesn't look that bad. Let me just uh, get the wheels. Get all the wind it all the way up. I'm just wondering if there is just something that's that's stuck behind something that's jamming something in the way. I guess I could blast out with that. It looks sort of cleaner now. not running you can see the mechanisms going down but the cable's not getting pulled back there's not enough spring on there to overcome the drag that's all the way through the cables so I think th this was minging but it wasn't our culprit and what we will do is while we're here is we'll just uh, Um, and there's something from the floor as well. And I've got car cleaner all over the floor. Should be okay for the uh, the paint on the floor because it, it is resin paint, but it does make it incredibly slippery. Problem is now, well, this bit's now incredibly clean. eating my trainers as we speak. Right, let's give that a quick wangy wangy round. I mean, it's a new cable, it's a new inner, I just don't think this routing is very good or it's something in there but it doesn't feel like it's anything in there. Let's get another quick blast. Oops. Oh, what? It's actually gone all the way down. First time ever. Oh, maybe there was something all wrong with this thing.
gone all the way down. Right, let's put this back together and see if that's uh, made any difference whatsoever. I can work out which way round and up and down and whatnot it goes. That looks like it. Okay, they're not the easiest to get on, but uh, given the dog's dinner some of the people on the internet were making of getting these on and off, uh, not that bad. I do think the cable routing with these is absolutely shocking. Um, it's not good at all. Right. of five it's got worn off already my dear took six ton of flipping car cleaner all over the place See where that left us now.
still not getting all the way down. Right. Uh, I was going to have one last shot, and I think I may have found my uh, draw cables now, but I need to check that. Just bear with me while I roll around on the floor trying to cut the hose reel. Right, so this is the stuff I couldn't find yesterday. Um, I need to try and get this uh, this down there just to make sure that we're not getting bound up behind something else. And we'll have another look at that, maybe change that throw a light on the end of there, see if that makes a difference. Because we like doing this about 20 times. Swing you out of the way. Just drop you down a little bit. Right, so I've got my draw cable. Um, what I should have done is gone and got this yesterday and uh, chucked this over. Now what I'm wondering is happening is we've got a, a hydraulic cable there and we've got another metal cable. Now it doesn't matter if your metal cables cross but if they cross more than once that's going to cause an issue. Now what's difficult to feel when you're fishing with the metal bit is if it's gone behind something because it's metal and it's slippy but this stuff's really flexible so if it ends up behind something you're going to feel it straight away now I think we're about right when we get to that bit there so I think we're we're somewhere near. And that's moving okay. The idea is to get this down then I, and then I shove the cable up it. And that's what I should have really done. What I should have done was cut the cable up here and slid it down over the top of it. Right, let's see if that's anywhere near. We can go fish it out. I've, uh, I've dropped the uh, could do with a torch as well. Which I don't think I've got. see it anyway. Right, that's the other thing about this stuff, it's easier to fish. My hooky fishy thingy. Hmm. 
Unfortunately, I let it go. Could have done with two picks and want to want to shove it. Uh. Trouble is, I keep ending up the wrong side of that cable. Oh, there we go. There again, wrong side of the flipping cable. Yeah, it seems adamant it's coming down that way. So that's part of the problem. I don't know if it's gone over the top of that cable or not. It doesn't have the ends really bent as well. Let's try and straighten it out. Be one of those ones where the, the textbook says you should do it by removing the crank. Doesn't help, I haven't got really got a torch. <coughs> Need a torch. see it. Right, let's go for a bigger hook. Let's go for this hook. Right, I'm leaving you there and I'm going to go and get the other hook. Right, now the other thing is now we're here, we should be able to feel if we've got any drag. We definitely have not got any drag. So we know 100% now if we send that down. Uh, what I do need to do though is, I've got to remember to put that on. So we should be able to
send that cable down. Now, before we do that, now we've got that in place and we've checked that, I do want to have a look at this as well. Um, because there's a few things about this that I'm not entirely uh, happy with. Let's get all this lot out of the way. Hopefully we can get that back on today. Right. So. helping as well but that's uh, another 2.5er So where's the where's the reach adjuster? Could be that one. be a screw for adjusting the, the reach on that. The only thing I can see is that. Can't see anything else. But they all look like they're about the same height. I'm missing something. Just quickly flip it up. Just make sure I'm not missing something obvious. Because I've got the light in my eyes now and I can't see a bloody thing.
Okay, right, that's about where they should be now. They were they were slightly over pulled down so they the thing was getting stuck behind the, the lever. It was irritating me. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a look at this one, will we? interesting now I've seen two of these rebuilds one of them had the ferrules on one of them didn't now I can't remember on Shimano whether you put the ferrules on these bits or not so I'm just going to try it without the ferrule on any better. Yeah, all the drags immediately gone. Right. So we're possibly looking at a problem with the ferrules. So do we need to find a ferrule that's bigger? So thank you. For come on gears, where are you? I think they were in here, aren't you already? Here. So I'm looking in the uh, goodies box. So if you've got anything that's got a bigger hole. So that's a brand new one. That's a small one, that's got a tiny hole. That's got some kind of weird rubbery thing going on. Right. I am... Um, Tempted to put this on. Yeah, they've definitely these plastic ones have definitely got slightly bigger holes, and I appear to have dropped the one I was using. So let's 
go again. This time. Sorry, one way round. Right, so I think it is supposed to have a ferrule on. The ferrule fits comfortably. Right, I've changed the ferrule size. What we'll do also is that we will make sure that that will keep that angle as shallow as we can round there. Right, I need the piece of metal that I've chucked in here or in here. That needs to go on here before we thread this through here. So that's underneath that. So what we're doing now is we're just feeding this down the, the fishing tube or the Teflon tube or whatever you want to call it. Now I could leave this in. There is a school of thought you leave these in and then if you are getting any rubbish against other stuff and it also stops cable hum as well. So I also wonder whether that, that this one is a little bit on the big side. Does seem to be over articulating it slightly there, but then you've got to imagine that when it comes around there, that is going to be quite tight. Anywho, right, what we can do now is we can shove this on. And we can pull this out. And we know that cable is where it's supposed to be now. I don't know how I did it last time, but last time I actually hit the tip of the plastic guide. Well, I think we'll... we'll oh. <laughs> That's because we've completely missed it. If you can see what I'm doing or not. I think I'm going to have to bring it up anyway. I can't see what I'm doing. Right, we've got to get this down there into that hole. Time for a prodder. There we go, we're in. Come on, don't be awkward. There we go.
Yeah, that, that's good. No, no drag there. Kind of hoping we've cracked it there. It's not good with. I swear this thing's just here to challenge me. Right. Wind that out a little bit. Make sure all the bits are in and we've released. Everything's down. Pliers. Ten mil one key. It's nine keys away. So we seem to be losing them already. Well, we've got the five mil one key. We've got the pliers. Right, let's just check that this is all good and we've got everything is where it's supposed to be. You're up there. Right. Oops, that's not going to work up there. Try that. Oh, we've got some slack in the system. Take a bit out of that. Perhaps I don't. down there. Yeah. No, still exactly the same.
Right, I don't know when the camera cut off, but uh, we, we, we're almost there, it's very, very close. Right, I think that's as good as we're going to get that. So what we're going to do now is sort out this uh, this back axle. Man, she's crusty. do with showing the uh, showing that extra uh, a one single skin thing one just wants looking across a little bit right the gubbins out of the way on the phone on that yeah, I think we just want one shim on this. Mark dropped something on the floor again. Shock! That's a 19. That's a 17. That's one thing, the, uh, the berries are running really well now. We've, uh, we've removed the... Uh, will do. I know they're a bit big but unfortunately it's all we've got. I need to do this by hand. smooth that that's nice let's just see where that puts it that'll be the uh, the faux bar moan right She managed to get the wheel stuck then. Right, so all we're doing here is just seeing where it, where it ends up in the caliper and how much gap we've got on the frame. You know what, that's okay. We can live with that. I've not moved the frame out. We're, not, we're pulling the frame in a little bit but not very much. I'm just more concerned about where it ends up on the
Do you know what? I don't think it needs that shim. You put the shim in and it, it just... just gone down I think so That's running, lovely now, we've just got to sort that out. I think I'm going to leave this shim in because I think um, when I look at when I look at the play I've got on the uh, <coughs> the amount I've got to play with on the thing, you can't see this and I've really, there's not really any easy way for me to bring you around to have a look at it and I can get you down there. That's the bit we're looking at there that bit it's how much oh well come on Shimano I mean uh, specialized what are you doing to me a torx bit on there really torx 2.5 It's a 2.5, I don't think it's a 3. Let's try a 3. Can't see that fitting myself, but... Torx 27. Torx 25, what size have I got in here? Torx 20. I don't know why that says it's a, it's a 25. Because that's a Torx 20. Unless I've got these in the wrong holes. No, if it says Torx 20 on there. Anyway, we procrastinate. Let's just get this in. Crack these off. <laughs> Fucking hell, specialise. Right. Oh, 
How the flipping heck are you supposed to get to that? That, specialised, is a pile of crap. Right, so the extent of movement, if I pull it back this way, slacken that one off as well. So if I pull it all the way back, I'm almost touching. Right? If I push it all the way forwards, I am touching. So if I took that shim out, that would make that worse. So I think that, that you need that shim in. Right? While we're here, we might as well stick some fresh brake pads in. Find where I put them. Let's find out the box. Down the box. One set of brake pads. Two sets of brake pads. Well, that'll look all right. Wang those in. I think that's the right one, yeah, the holes at the top, I can see it. Hmm. I think we might have some prodding and poking to do here. Is that the 20? No, that's the 20. We don't want that one. Get this one out, we want this one. Copious amounts of three. Yeah, I think you've really, you've dropped the ball a bit on this one, specialised me old muckers, because that is a shocking bit of design. It's like you didn't know what you were doing with disc brakes, mind you. I haven't said that though. You were you were one of the early adopters of the old disc brakes. Uh, that'll be why we... Uh... You come back out again. Look her off. And you have as well. Just done that one. Well, that wasn't rolled over here, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was. Got you. Get the pin in. This is what we found out this was a torx bit. No, it looks like a 2.5. Yep, that's a 2.5.
went in a lot easier than the other one and then it came out these things fortunately it's been soaking in oil for the last uh, half an hour 2.5 wind that one down till it bites back it off yep that moves I have no idea how you're supposed to get to this. I don't know if it's any easier coming at it from this side. No, it's worse. You almost need to do it with a 20 just to be able to get the... You need one of those ones that's got a really long shaft on. I think I have got some long ones from an old set but they're not very... Uh, they're not very anything <laughs> fucking shit he's still with us it's right unless when the screen's out I can't see what you're seeing are you still seeing this yeah you're still seeing this right so we've just uh, nipped that one up maybe a little bit too far that's good right back break which is this one about the only thing that has gone straight smooth I thought these were going to be an absolute pig right uh, might as well do the front ones while we're here We're nearly out of power. Right, um, I'm going to cut it there before we run out of power. I'll swap them over off camera, you don't need to see that. And what, we, what I'll also do is break down that and prepare for it. I'll bring you back, this will be all part of the same video. Um, and hopefully in a couple of days time we've got that rear thing. Um, if I decide to strip it down, I'll bring you back for that.